You look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. Those bots are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced-in area without authorization from the greeter. The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. My father ran a butcher shop here in town, but business went downhill when another vendor started selling this strange meat at half our prices. You're telling me, not long after my father's shop went under and he passed away from the loss, people around town started experiencing shakes. No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh. But no one would believe me. The sick bastard gradually went insane and passed away. Wasn't long before someone moved into the guy's place and found half-buried human remains in the crawl space. I didn't bother saying, told you so. After a while, I made enough money to get a passport into Vegas. Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. That didn't last long. Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time, and one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. I never touched the woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. Yeah, shit indeed happens. I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings and booted back into Freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options, as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No, escort just sounds better than man whore. Yep. I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. When I quit the escort job, I had enough money to buy a pistol belt and some other gear. Bodyguards make a good, honest living. And I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation for being a stand-up guy again. And after a decade, managed to save up enough to retire. All right. Till next time.